So if you clicked on this video, you're probably someone that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Now, whether you're an individual looking to chase your dreams or maybe you're a small business looking for creative ways to market yourself, the number one most important thing that you need to create awesome content on YouTube is a camera. And I know that sounds a little bit obvious because duh, of course you need a camera to record yourself. But the real question that you guys are asking yourself right now is, what camera should I buy? And the answer to that question is very simple. The number one best camera to use for content creating on YouTube in 2020 is the Canon EOS M50. Hello, my name is Renee and welcome to my channel. All right, so in my opinion, there's three main determining factors as to what makes a good camera for YouTube. So I chose the Canon M50 because that camera meets every single expectation out of those three requirements that I consider for a good camera. So the three things that you guys wanna look out for is one, how reliable is the camera? Two, how good of quality does the camera have? And three, how pricey is the camera? So first and foremost, is the Canon M50 a reliable camera? Well, yes, I, I do think it's very reliable, actually. So if we're being honest, anyone that isn't used to or knows anything about cameras, the first time that they pick up a camera or try to use it, it's pretty intimidating. I say this from experience because I always wanted to have a nice professional camera, but every time that I picked one up, I was just, lost. Now the cool thing about the Canon M50 is that a lot of its features and settings are extremely user friendly which makes it really really easy to use. I like to think of Canon as the Apple of the camera world because their products work really really well and they're extremely easy to use. Their products just work. As far as the actual build of the camera I wouldn't say it's the absolute best but considering this is going to be your first camera for a lot of you the build of the Canon M50 is actually pretty solid. But one of the cool things that they did with the Canon M50 and generally with a lot of the Canon cameras is that they put a little swivel screen basically this little screen that pops out just like that and not only does it pop out but you can twist it and turn it and do whatever you want to do with it that way if you're blogging or you need to you know see yourself while you're recording your video you can do that you need to be able to see yourself to know that you're shooting correctly and a lot of other cameras and more specifically other camera companies actually don't put a swivel screen on their cameras as far as battery life goes for the Canon M50 it's not the absolute best but if you're a little more conservative with the battery life then you can probably make it last a whole day now with that said you can go online and purchase yourself some additional batteries for your camera for very very cheap I honestly recommend doing this regardless of whatever camera you decide to get another cool thing about the Canon M50 M50 is that it does have an audio mic jack so while the camera does record internal audio if you wanted to add an additional microphone like say a Rode shotgun mic then you could plug that right into the camera without any additional gear I bought the Canon M50 because I wanted to have a second camera that wasn't as expensive as my main camera that way I wouldn't have to worry about anything happening to it basically if something happens to my expensive camera I'm gonna freak out but if something happens to this one I'm not gonna worry so much I still have my main one now with that said I've been carrying the M50 basically every single day anywhere I go no matter what and because of its small size and durability I've honestly had a blast carrying this thing everywhere with me now next I want to talk about the actual quality of the Canon M50 so keeping in mind that the M50 is considered an entry-level camera the actual video quality that comes out of the M50 is crazy ridiculous so not only can it shoot in full HD 1080p but it can also shoot in 4k I promise you when I say that you will not find any other camera in the same price range as the M50 that can also shoot 4K. Okay, so it's true that when you're shooting in 4K, your image is cropped and you also lose your dual pixel autofocus, which basically makes your autofocus not as good as it should be. But again, normally a camera in this price range wouldn't have 4K anyway, so just the fact that it does have 4K is a nice little additional plus. Now, despite all of those negative things with the 4K in this camera, it's still totally usable. Just because it doesn't have the best autofocus and just because it's cropped it doesn't mean you can't use it in fact most of the times when I use the Canon M50 I'm usually shooting in 4k another reason why I suggest this camera over just about anything is because it is a Canon camera okay I am a Canon fanboy but that's not the reason why I'm saying that the reason why I'm saying that is because Canon's color science is extremely good basically the actual colors that come out of the footage and pictures of each individual camera brand are completely different now the cool thing about Canon cameras is that they produce really rich and strong colors 
colors. You'll notice it a lot when you're looking at people's faces because their skin becomes really smooth and the colors are really vibrant. At the end of the day, that does come down to personal preference, although I do think that Canon footage is a lot easier to edit just because it already comes out looking really good. All right, so last but definitely not least, let's talk about the actual price for the Canon M50. Before I say the price, I want you guys to realize that if this is your first camera, the price is probably gonna scare you. You guys gotta understand that cameras are an expensive piece of equipment and if you do wanna put out professional looking stuff, then you need to be willing to invest a little bit of money into your camera. The Canon M50 is currently priced at around $600 and I think because of Mother's Day, it got dropped down $100, so I think it's for $500 right now. Now considering the reliability of the actual camera and how good the quality of the 4K and even the Full HD 1080p is, $500 to $600 is actually a really good deal. And not to forget that not only do you get the camera, but you also get the interchangeable lens with it. Now that's another cool thing about the Canon M50 to know because interchangeable lenses are actually the real determining factor as to how your footage looks. If you wanna make your footage look super wide angle, you can do that. If you wanna film something that's like super, super far away, you can do that. And if you wanna make something super cinematic with the blurry background and everything like that, then you can totally do that. Now the cool thing is that you're not just limited to the Series M lenses from Canon, but if you get yourself a little nice adapter like this, you can actually get yourself a bunch of different crazy options of lenses. The most important reason as to why the Canon M50 is the best camera for YouTube is the fact that it's extremely versatile. Sure, it doesn't have the best 4K features and the build quality might not be that great, but the camera is extremely trustworthy and reliable. The video quality in full HD and in 4K when you know what you're doing is extremely good. And for you guys, probably the most important thing is that the price is not that expensive. Again, in my experience, I already had a good camera that I did not need to replace, but I saw the Canon M50 and I was like, wow, that would be a great little camera for me to run around with every single day. And let me tell you, it does a really good job, especially with video quality. Is it absolutely the best camera you will ever find on the market? No, not at all. But for the price and considering this is probably gonna be your first camera, it's a fantastic option that I would highly, highly recommend. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share my opinion on the Canon M50 and hopefully I was able to help you guys come up with some kind of decision. If I was of some help, make sure to let me know down below in the comments section and just let me know if you liked the video in general. And if you wanna see more content just like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe and do whatever you guys do down there. But thanks again for watching this video. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.